Happy has just released Arc 7 Chapter 30, and this video will be a summary of the chapter. I highly recommend you check out my Chapter 29 summary beforehand. Anyways, let's begin. The chapter starts with Mazelda's proclamation that she will give up her seat as the head of the Shudrakian tribe. Her face contained resolve and she had a fierce look despite losing her right leg. There was silence and regret. Since the Shudrakians around Mizelda knew of how strong she was, despite that there was a sense of loss. Everyone looked downcast. Utakata had tears in her eyes and bit her lip. Kuna was emotionless and even the upbeat Holly looked upset. Tarita stated that she couldn't be the chief, but Mizelda reassured her that it was up to her to fulfil the role. Tarita was deeply upset. In fact, she seemed to be more upset than Mazelda was. However, Tarita simply believed she wasn't strong enough to fill the role of being chief, almost as if she was blaming herself. Across the hall, Rem was working busily to help the injured. She was the only person who had healing magic, and therefore she was helping as much as she could. She had bloodied clothes, and her hair was a mess. She was obviously exhausted. However, no one would blame her for her lack of strength because Rem was the only one with healing magic and if she wasn't present, many more people would have died. Mizelda once again thanks Rem for her help for saving her. Next to Rem is Louis who has messy hair and Rem put her hand on Louis's shoulder. Abel stepped forward and wanted to confirm that Mizelda wouldn't change her mind about stepping down. Mizelda confirmed it and stated Abel will have to ask Tarita, the new chief of the Shudrakians, on the next step, but that the pact between the Shudrak and the Emperor of Valakia will be upheld. Abel thanked Mizelda for her service and showed her respect. Once again, Mizelda shouted a proclamation that Tarita was now the chief of the Shudrak tribe. The Shudrakians shouted out in unison, and Subaru understood that he was witnessing a ritual of succession from Mizelda to Tarita. Tarita was still downcast, but Mizelda stated to not be hesitant, because if she is hesitant, then everyone is hesitant. If she is downcast, then everyone is downcast. And if she dies, then everyone dies. And that is the role of the chief, to lead. The scene changes and we see Subaru say that he's surprised as he calls out to Abel, referring to the fact that Abel accepted that Mazelda was out of the war due to her injury. Abel explains that he expects his soldiers to give their best, and if they're required to do more than they can output, it would only result in miscalculations and errors, so those who fulfill their roles should be rewarded, such as Mazelda. Abel also explains that those who don't work to a sufficient standard would be punished, and Subaru asks if he'll be punished. However, Abel stated that Subaru isn't his subordinate, so he wouldn't be punished. Subaru states he doesn't mind having a title like a military strategist, but he doesn't want to be below Abel as a subordinate. Abel again states that due to that viewpoint, Subaru isn't eligible for merits or punishments if he isn't Abel's subordinates. Subaru and Abel continue to talk before Abel leaves, leaving Subaru to find Rem and ask her how she's doing. Rem jumped at being called and then asked Subaru when he was going to change clothes, since he was still dressed as Natsumi. However, Subaru said checking on Rem is more important, and he will change when the conversation is over. With that, Rem replied that the conversation is over, and therefore Subaru should go and change. Subaru quipped back at Rem, and Rem told Subaru to be quiet since Louis was sleeping and laying on Rem's shoulder. Rem told Subaru to take care of Louis. As Subaru looked at Louis, he heard that Louis was helping Rem, however, she was doing a poor job with helping the injured people, but she wanted to help out. Subaru's emotions were mixed. Subaru then sat next to Rem, on the opposite shoulder to where Louis was. 
Subaru thanked Rem for saving all of the people, however Rem said that she was not strong enough. Rem talks about learning to use healing magic with the help of Lewis, and all of the help that she received throughout her adventure, but she's upset. Rem blames herself for her weakness, for failing to save people such as Mazelda's leg. Subaru understands that the regret of not being able to do things. Mazelda losing her leg is an example. Even though it's not losing your life, losing one limb must be a rough change, similar to how Aldebaran lost his arm, or when Ricardo lost his arm in Priestella. Rem asks about what she would have been like before. Subaru asks if she means when Rem had her memories, and Rem confirms it. This is because Rem believes that she would have been able to save Mazelda's leg if she had her other memories. Subaru thought to himself, he didn't really know the effect of memories on the ability to use healing magic, but despite his hesitation, Rem looked at him intently with her blue eyes. Subaru had to think. One answer would be salvation, the other answer would be damnation. It was either she could heal Mazelda's leg, or she couldn't. However, Subaru stated that even with Rem's memories, he didn't believe Rem could actually heal Mazelda's leg because healing magic isn't a panacea, it isn't a cure-all. Subaru thought to himself, even if Rem had her memories, it wouldn't have been possible to restore a limb. However, Subaru blamed himself instead, which caught Rem by surprise. After all, this was his plan, the bloodless castle plan. Subaru failed and as a result people died and now Rem was suffering from Subaru's failure. If Subaru was able subordinate, he would have been punished, he would have been beheaded. Subaru thought about death, he thought about Guaral when Todd was hunting him down. The memory of it causes Subaru's body to harden, however if he could go back to that moment, then everything could be solved. However the words why struck out to him, it was Rem. Rem asked him why it was all his fault. Rem lists out the injuries and asks if it was all Subaru's fault, and Subaru confirms it. If his plan was better, no one would have been hurt. Rem talks about how Subaru's plan allowed him to capture the city hall. However, Subaru goes to respond about what happened afterwards. However, Rem states that no one could have foreseen that, no one could have foreseen Arakia's arrival. Subaru is silent, and Rem continues along, asking why Subaru is responsible for all of that. Just like how Rem laments her own power, and blames herself for a lack of healing magic proficiency, Subaru blames himself for the failure of his plan. However, the future could be better if he used his own power, known as Return by Death, a power that he couldn't even tell to Rem if he wanted to. Subaru is scared of dying and terrified of the loss one feels when it comes to Return by Death. Rem asks why Subaru protected her. When Arakia initially attacked, Subaru stood in the way of Arakia's attack, shielding Rem. Subaru thought to himself, he wanted Rem to outlive him, even if it was for a second longer. Rem, however, continues, stating that Mizelda's leg, the bloodless castle plan, and defending Rem herself when Arakia attack, is just simply Subaru taking the burdens of everyone onto himself. Rem states that Subaru isn't strong enough to do all of that, and at first, she was wary of Subaru due to his smell, however, she states that Subaru doesn't have to take responsibility for the actions of others. Rem continued, and Subaru knew he should stop her from saying it, but Rem continued anyway, stating that Subaru isn't a special person. Subaru is not a hero. The scene changes, and Subaru is walking aimlessly. He bangs his head into a wall and proceeds to constantly smash his head into a wall. Before this, Al sees him and tells him to stop. Al proceeds to grab Subaru and looks at him in the eyes. Al then goes on to state, I do understand the feeling of wanting to die, but doing that is going to get you nowhere. That thing. And with that, the chapter ends. 
wow, what a chapter. So my thoughts on the chapter is, it's actually sad in a way, because we now have Rem saying that Subaru is not a hero, and Subaru sort of kind of contemplated using Return by Death to solve the situation. And of course, it's the cliffhanger. So the translation I used at the end for what Al said was actually from uh, Ice from Witchcock Translations. So thanks to him for that. And it seems like Al may be referring to many things here. So according to Ice, what Al said could be referring to wanting to die. It could be referring to Subaru smashing his head onto the wall. So it could be Tape trolling us, or it could be that Al is referring to Return by Death, or dying, or resetting. We, we don't really know, so we're going to have to wait to the next chapter. I'm not going to lie, like, since starting Arc 7, the Al is Subaru theory for me is getting stronger and stronger, and this is just adding more evidence to the fire for me, at least. Because if Al somehow knows about Return by Death, the question is, how would he know that? He's just a random. But what if he was Subaru? I, I don't know, I'm going to make a video talking about it. I, I, I said that like two weeks ago, but I still have a video in the works where I'm going to be talking about the weird coincidences in Arc 7. But thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it.